So the first thing is that our hand have the force. Okay. So if you generate out the, if you generate out, we call a uh, later heavenly force, and to convert the the pre heavenly force, we can convert the force, and we make those force become our force. Okay. So um, we're talking about the same force as God. Okay. So you do meditation, you feel God. You do Tai Chi, you also feel God because God consists of everything all around us. So the force is everywhere. Okay? And um, when you hold the hand also, you're connecting a lot of force. And when you put the hand like this, let's do try like this. So we are, we're going to have this movement, the big. Okay? We have the big gathering the force and condense the force and feel the force. Okay? And when you feel the force like this, you feel a very condensed force there. Okay? And you're putting on your crown. You feel it's very strong force going down to your crown. You feel a very pressure go right into your crown. Okay? A pressure force. So there are many different ways to feel the force. Okay? To feel the creating force. And we do a lot of inhale and exhale. The force going out. Okay? You join the force and you send in the force. Okay? And the most important part, there are two forces, very similar but different. One is we call God, creating force, primordial force. Whatever the name we want to give, it's okay. But they are the same force. And we have the later heavenly force, or we call pre, uh, our original force. It's stored in us. So the original force, or we call the later heavenly force, they are very similar. Okay? But they are not yes, but not yes. Okay? So we have to convert them. We have to take the primordials and the later heavenly force, mix them together and convert them, and they become our own force. Okay? So we start to experience the force within us. The power of the creating force is within us. Because the creating force, or the primordial force, or God, hold the whole universe blueprint, including our blueprint. Okay? So if we have this force coming in, it will build whatever we need to build inside our body. Because it holds the original blueprint. Why not? Okay, why not? Like our, our sex cells hold the original of the original blueprint. So it's more higher than stem cell. Many, many times higher than stem cell. Okay? Because the, the sexual energy holds the original pattern. Okay? So... Now, so when, uh, when you, so now, a force around us, we keep a, a diagram. A force around us is unalignment. So when you, when you generate out your force, and there is the later heavenly force, the chi, okay, and it are very similar with the force outside. So when you align the force, when you align the force. You align the force, and you feel the force are moving, so you align the force. And you bring the force for anything you want, to heal you, to go into your body, or to do anything, or healing other people, or to strengthen your body. So that's why the force can do anything they want. Okay? And also, the force have a different um, spiral, a different traits. So that when they're not aligned, we cannot use it. But when we align them, we can use the force. So that's how, so if you understand this Tai Chi, it's very simple now. You get it. All you have to do is feel the force. Okay? So that's the first thing, we feel the force. The second thing, we get the structure, right? Okay? And the third thing, when you get the structure and you get the rooting right, and you feel the rooting and structure, we need to feel the earth force. We need to feel the earth force. So it's very important. The earth 
is the Mother Earth. And this is what the theory is written down many thousand years. They said, I, I, I don't know, the, the similar theory that the Tao said, we are the center of the energy. And the Catholics said, we are the center of the whole universe. <laughs> In that time, the Catholics said, God say the earth is the center of the whole universe. Okay? And also say that the earth is flat. <laughs> it's a funny one, no? running flat in the, in the space, you know, <laughs> flat <laughs> and running in the space. I don't know how they're running, okay? So, so um, now, the, the theory is right. We are the center of the universe, but we are the center of the energy of the universe. Why? Um, there are more and more proof that now that the world are very protected, Okay? And um, you know the moon? You know the moon? You know the moon look like very ugly. Hole here, hole here, hole here. Hold the whole face of the moon is so many holes. And it's the closest thing to us. And you know why? Because the moon been hit by the media so much. Boom, boom, boom. All the time, hit by the media. That's the closest thing to us. And what happened to us? Now, the planet, big, big hole, some of them so big, many, many times, the big hole bigger than Himalayas. Many, many times, the hole that they go in so deep, okay? And because they be beat by big media, very big. And why we don't have that? Some people say, yes, one time we have it, and that's why the dinosaurs disappear. Because they hit, boom, and the cloud so big and cover the earth for many, many thousand years. And all the plants die. And uh, the dinosaurs have to eat a lot. If they're too big, you know, they eat a lot, so they die. We are smaller, so we eat little, and we can go on. You know. <laughs> we don't know that time we are here already or not. Okay? So that is, the earth are very protected. We are actually are protected by all the planets. The planet moving around, so when it, the media coming in, they hit either the planet. If they miss the planet, they hit the moon. And if they miss the moon, it come to our atmosphere, we burn them all. And left a really small trunk. So we don't have those problems. Okay? And at the same time, we are very protected and a lot of forces come to us. So we become a center of the force. I believe that because when I practice, I really feel the earth has tremendous power to support life. How many lives we have now? Six billion humans. Don't talk about insects. <laughs> Don't talk about other animals. You know? Don't talk about the cow that we, 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 we raise. When I in Switzerland, they said, um, the true or not, they said, they have cow more than the, the human. <laughs> that means that they, they have to make the cow population, uh, cow population as the citizen because they have more than the citizen. You know? <laughs> okay. So there are so many cows that we have. You know? So there are so many living things now in the world. Okay? And the one that sustains this life is the earth. The earth power. How? The energy comes into the earth, the earth blends it, and it gives life to all the living things. So that's why it's so important to understand this. The Earth Force. Okay? So the first Tai Chi, very simple. We have to feel the force around us. And when you move, you feel the force following with you. That is very important. The force are following you. The breathing. So when you breathe, you feel you're breathing the energy into your mid eyebrow. You breathe the energy to your palm and to your finger. And you feel the force are following you. Okay? 
and you feel the force are lifting you upward, and you pushing out, and you coming down. Okay, so let's standing still. Very important part when we cannot feel the force because our mind is too busy. Our heart are too busy. So we need to calm the mind. We need to calm the heart. You calm the mind, you calm the heart down, and you feel the force. Smile to your heart. Smile to the heart. Lower your mind to the heart. In touch with your spirit. From the heart, you start to radiate down, put your hand down to your arm. Loosen your knee. Loosen your knee. And like this step. And you stand. Now, you lightly loosen your knee and you look down. You see your toes. Okay, you look down, you see your toes, and this is right. If you bend your knee too much like this, you look down, you don't see your toes. And that is wrong because you are putting too much, you're bending too much, and you cannot see your toes. So you lightly bend. The next one, you sit, you think you have a chair here, you try to sit down. Try to sit down. Okay, so your knee don't move, but you try to sit, but not sit. Okay, you sit down a little bit, as much as you can sit down, and your body don't bend. Some people when they say, sit down, it go like this, <laughs> and your body bend. Okay, so you sit, but not sit. That's it. Sit down. Okay, you sit down. So, sit, but not sit. And you fall, but not fall. Fall, but not fall. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now, very slowly, inhale, very slowly, feel you breathing in, inhale, smiling, and move your hand up, slowly, 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 and exhale, feel the force, inhale, breathing in, mid eyebrow, crown, and the tip of the finger, and exhale. Feel the force from the heart. And turn. Turn, 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 holding the ball. Okay. Now, very important part, don't bend your back like this. Round your back and your circum lightly tuck in. Okay, your circum lightly tuck in. Put your leg down. And turn. Okay. Pick your leg up. And come up. And word off. Sinking down. Sinking down. Sing. Roll back. Roll back. And turn. And move. And press. Sinking down, sinking down. Sing. Pushing out, pushing out. Push. Sinking out, sinking down. Sing. 
turn, 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 and sinking down, holding the beak, and step up very wide to the north and to the south, and hand come up and out. Okay. Okay. Finish. Rest. And um, very important part is don't bend your leg too low because your knee cannot take it. Okay, your knee cannot take it. So you lightly loosen your knee and you sit down a little bit only. In the beginning, just a little bit enough. Okay. Now, the, we have a lot of singing. Sing. Okay. We have a lot of sing, and we have a lot of push, we have a lot of sing. Singing, sinking down, is very important, okay? Because when you sing down, you're opening your qua and opening your goi, and opening your lumbar and the, um, the lumbar and the sacrum. So when you sing down like this, sing, okay? If you do like this, not sing. Sing, no. Okay? If you do like this, sing. So this one, singing like this. Okay? Sing. You have to feel that when you sing down. You feel that you pull the sacrum and lumbar and it stress out. Pull the, the sacrum and lumbar and it stress out. Okay? It stress out. So it stress out the lumbar. It stress out the lumbar. Okay? And you feel your lumbar actually pull open. So that's very important. Okay? Like this. Sing. Okay? Okay. Relax. Sing. Now, you see, you just watch me here. Watch me for one. I sing down. So I stretch, you see, I think that I stretch this part open, stretch, so my second tuck in, and my lumbar round. So I feel, actually, I feel my second are pulling. And that is very important for the lower back pain. When you, when you sing down, okay, so you see, I, I hold him. Now he sing down, sing down, sing, sing now, sing more, and opening your quad. Feel it pull your lumbar, lumbar round, yeah. So now he can sing down, and he feel have to be feel that the back are stretching and open. And that is a very big ligament, okay. And this one in the in the Tai Chi we all always say quad. And uh, when you train, also a little bit root, but you go down. So you see it like this. This is how. Okay? So you uh, make sure that the quad is open. I mean, the, the quad is go on like this. Okay? So, okay. so now it's open. Okay? And if you do it right, you can feel this area are pulling, and here it's open. Because this is the place that we compress the most. You sit too long, you stand too long, you get compressed on the back. And you get big trouble for that. And the tendon, everything don't open. Eventually, we get the back pain, leg pain, you cannot walk. Okay? Let's try do the form. Okay? So let's do uh, with just sing. Sing. But see... See on your on the mirror that your back are straight. Some of you still do like this thing. Okay? It's too much lean. And you don't open your quad. So you sing. Your lumbar open. And your sacrum open. And your quad open. So that's why it's very emphasized in that. And if you look at the modern life, modern way, it's right. 
because we are com too much compress our spine. Okay, too much compress on our spine. And this one will help. This one will help, okay? So you see here, yeah, when the quad is like this, when you go down, when you go down like this, you, this one you stretch open like this. You go and you stretch open like this. So this is what this, uh, you try to do. You actually stretch this open and uh, it separate. Otherwise, they compress on the nerve and getting a lot of trouble for the lower lumbar. Okay? So, seeing. Okay? Seeing. When you do it right, you feel an energy from the base go right to the crown. Okay? From the base go right to the crown. Okay? You have to be your second tuck in, so first thing that's it, your second lightly tuck in and the lumbar round. You see? Second tuck in and lumbar round. Not like this. Second tuck in. Okay? So let's do this. Tuck in, till off. Tuck in, till off. Okay? So now, you second tuck in and uh, second tuck in. And, uh, and the lumbar, you say lumbar round, and you feel the opening. And you feel the energy go right to the crown. And that's right. Okay? Okay, let's let apply this very important part into the form. Then apply it. Okay, so let's do it. So, Lower your mind. Down to your Tantian. And put your hand down. Loosen your knee. And step. And inhale and exhale. You see? Your lumbar round and second tuck in, push. Inhale. Second and lumbar to move and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Turn, step, come up, and word off. Sinking down, sinking down, sing. Roll back. And press. And out. Sinking down. Sinking down, sing. Pushing out, pushing out, push. Sinking down, sinking down, sing. Turn, 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 turn. And sinking back down, holding the beak. Okay, step, coming up. And turn. Okay. 